three steps to avoid fighting with your partner on vacation. So of course it's a total buzzkill when you're on vacation and you get in a fight with your partner. So yourtango.com has come up with some three tips, some steps to help you avoid fighting on vacay. We're gonna break it down, but first thoughts, five words or less. Vacation from my vacation. Sex and tequila solves everything. Yes. Avoid logistics, book a cruise. Ew, I've never taken a cruise, but they seem boring. Feel like you're like stuck. Okay, don't sweat the small stuff. So here's some of the steps. So step one, it says take the pressure off. So obviously when we have a vacation coming up, we have this, we're, it's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be so much, it's gonna be so romantic. They're saying try not to have such a big expectation so yeah. you're not resentful. I've been on vacations where I fought because of just planning what we're gonna do. Right. And when we're gonna leave. Well, like, are we right. gonna do snorkeling or archery? I wanna yeah. do snorkeling, no. It's shit, like, oh, <laughs> Or it's right, you don't know. have anything planned for Is us it, yeah. today. Yeah, yeah. Or, What? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's so annoying, all that stuff. It's like, are we really living up to this vacation? The higher the expectations of having fun, the more or you're, you're about to be disappointed because mm -hmm. you're, either, then your goal is to actively relax. Yeah. Relax now! Yeah, and never great. tell a woman to relax. I feel like the fighting happens because somebody is, is whipping out their technology, their phone, their computer, or someone is trying to, you know, work mm -hmm. on vacation. I feel like that's where most of the so fights come stop from. stop working stop on vacation. Stop Instagramming, stop tweeting, yes. stop everything. Okay, step two. Recognize it's a problem and create a plan. I actually love this. So they say first before, and I've done this before, before your vacation, have a little conversation and say, listen, let's really try to have a goal where we don't fight. And if we feel it building or coming on, let's come up with a code word. And they say to come up with like a really funny code word. So in the middle of like a fight starting to brew, you say the code word and then you guys laugh. What would your code word be? I don't know. Porcupine. Porcupine's a good Porcupine? one. Porcupine, what would your code word be? Gargle. Mine would be <laughs> boop. Mine would be <laughs> Pool noodle. <laughs> okay, so the next step is swallow your pride. It says most of the fights are from either high expectations or miscommunication. <laughs> Make sure you also pick the right vacation for the two of you. So yeah. if you're not campers, Thank don't go on a you. camping vacation. That's yes. a great tip. So that, that's, that's I love the best that. tip. That's such everything. a good tip. Two points for Brett. Like if I'm fighting with my partner on vacation, that's not the partner for me. I'd just be like, this is ridiculous. See you You're later. Go to the bar. Yeah, I'd yeah. go to the bar the and bar I'd be doing the tequila shots on my own. Yes, yeah. I like it. Okay, so do you guys have any vacation? fight horror stories? Uh, yeah, just ex-girlfriend got way too wasted like every night and just spent the whole day being sick and hungover, so yeah. yeah. that's not fun. If she's watching this, you suck. Yeah, you're, and yeah, I'm glad what it's a buzzkill. Yeah. <laughs> One time I just went on a vacation, we went on a vacation to Mexico mm -hmm. and got this indoor-outdoor type room. Yeah. And so there are things called cotimundis. Okay. That are like little raccoon-like creatures Cute. that they're like, watch out, they might show up in your tent I would tonight. Love and that's that. exactly what happened. But it's just this rat dog yeah. in your <laughs> room eating your food. Just and like knocking stuff over. I and love it's it. the middle of the night and there are no walls. Okay. And so one she's like, What is that? And I just at that point decided, as she's looking out into the darkness just to just go. <laughs> and she jumped, and there was a mosquito net, and the mosquito net went everywhere, and she got really pissed That's off. That's awesome. If those creatures existed in Australia, they'd be poisonous, and there'd be a way they could kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think about your tango's three steps to avoiding a fight on vacation? Do you guys have any tips that you can offer us? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all next time on Pop Trigger.